This is the Magnetar workstation range. Uh, just a brief overview of the different systems. This is the X series, this is the M series, the S series, and this is a new product that's in development right now, which is the T series. What we're going to do is just go through the specific details of these machines individually now. This is the Magnetar X X32, and there's an X16 and an X32, and the difference is the X16 single processors and the X32 is dual processor, and it's a Xeon E5 based system. I'll just take the side panel off so you can see inside. Um, this is the Super Micro based version, but we also have an Asus uh, and the Tyan version. Both the Asus and the Tyan can support four GPUs. The Super Micro board can support two GPUs, but it actually supports uh, 512 meg of RAM, whereas the other ones support up to 256. Um, you've got up to uh, eight hot swap drives. There's four in the standard configuration, and then you can add an additional four if you need those. And there are also four SSD bays in the top. Um, it's a steel construction chassis with uh, aluminium uh, side panels um, and again uh, kind of emphasis on, uh, on low noise um, but it's at the, our full size chassis. This is the M series chassis, this is an M32 so it's also a dual Xeon, um, liquid cooled again um, but it's quite unique, it's a very very small compact workstation chassis. Um, but it d loses no features and as you can see on this particular chassis we've got a K5000 Quadro as well as three Tesla cards. The two Xeons inside here are also liquid cooled like in the X series and you can just see if we undo the thumb screws there uh, you can see the two uh, cooling units inside um, just close that up there uh, we'll just spin this round to the back. Uh, we've got single or dual redundant power. We've also got rear accessible uh, uh, hard drives as well, and there's additional hard drive bays inside. So it actually supports six drives, four of which are hot swappable, two of those are rear accessible. Uh, single or dual redundant power supplies both 750, 1200, and 1600 options available. This is the S series chassis, and we do two versions of this, an S8, which is a quad-core, uh, hyper-threaded Haswell uh, processor, and then we do the Socket 2011 single socket, uh, which is the S16, which is um, up to eight cores with 16 threads. Again, it's an aluminium side panel, um, and we have uh, the liquid cooling system here, um, this is again, it's an optional uh, extra, but a lot of the, the standard sashes actually have this. Fairly conventional uh, chassis, but again, very small and compact. And you can see there, we've got the cooling unit up to four memory modules and socket 2011. Um, this one has got uh, up to four hard drive bays there. And we've got two SSD bays in the back. This is actually a, a product that's in R&D right now. It's in development. This is our T-Series. Um, this is actually a GPU compute miniature render system, and it can support um, up to the twin GPUs, so GTX 690, 7, uh, 7990, and the S10,000 card. So uh, both single and dual GPU are catered for on this. It actually uses a server power supply. Um, it's got hot swappable SSD and the hard drive bays in there as well. So there'll be more about this particular product um, appearing on our website soon.